Hi and welcome to Yoga with Sina. I'm Sina and today I'll be sharing a quick wake up yoga sequence with you. All you need for today's class is literally your mat and your body and a little bit of space. If you want to have some blocks, that's totally all right too. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start seated in a comfortable position and today we're going to have the palms facing up in a bit more of a receiving gesture. So go ahead, find a comfortable seat, maybe wiggle a little bit side to side and when you're ready, take a deep breath in through your nose, sit up nice and tall and on your exhale, go ahead, gently close your eyes. Relax your face, your jaw, your shoulders. Let the belly be completely soft and relaxed here. No more tension around the belly button. And then just checking in this moment with how you feel right now. How is your body feeling? What's going on in your mind? Just taking two, three breaths here, kind of checking in at how we feel right now in this present moment. And then for today's class, I want you to just bring up in your mind a way or an aim, a goal of how you want to feel during this short practice. And then also how you want to feel for the rest of your day as we step off the mat. So set your so-called intention for today's class. And then taking a deep breath in through the nose, hands come together in front of the heart. We sit up nice and tall again. And on your exhale, breathing out, sealing that intention, that feeling that you want to carry off the mat as we finish. Bowing your chin to your chest just very gently. And on your next inhale, blinking the eyes open, we're going to transition onto all fours, taking the hands underneath the shoulders, hips over the knees. Toes are tucked today for this tabletop position. So as you look back between your knees, the toes are just in line with your hips and your knees. Now from here, we're going to start with a cat pose. So really pressing into your shoulder blades, gazing down to the fingertips, make sure they're nice and spread. And then really lean into those hands. Shift the weight a little bit forward as you draw the navel to the spine and press the toes away from you down into the earth. Now as we inhale, make this transition really with control. Take it nice and slow. As you drop the belly, pick up the gaze, draw the shoulders back. Thinking more of an extension of the front body instead of a back arch. Exhaling, tucking chin to chest, rounding your spine again. Pressing those toes down, spreading the fingers, gripping the mat with your fingertips. One more time on your inhale, dropping the belly. Finding that opening, that space at the front of your chest, pushing the heart forward. And then last time, exhaling, rounding that spine again. Creating a little bit of a broadening between the shoulder blades. Good. Inhaling brings you back to tabletop. Now let's touch the toes together, bring the knees together, and then just sit back onto your toes. We're going to bring the palms together at the front of the heart again, trying to sit up nice and tall just for three long, mindful breaths. Taking a nice deep inhale here, growing through the crown of your head. On your exhale, dropping those shoulders, inhaling, taking a nice deep breath in through your nose, exhaling, breathing out, one more, inhale through your nose, and exhale, releasing those hands back down to the mat, keep the toes tucked, bring them to a hip width distance, lift the knees up, push the hips up. And then come into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here and settle yourself down into that downward facing dog. You can go ahead and pedal the feet out. Make sure that your spine has a nice long line. So pushing the chest towards your thighs. Knees can always be bent here. Drawing the shoulder blades backward and kind of having an outward rotation with the shoulders. Gaze is towards the feet or the knees. 
We'll stay here taking another two deep breaths in through the nose. As you exhale, push the chest back. Maybe the heels are nearing the floor, but keep that long line in the spine. Last one, inhale here. Exhale everything out. Inhale, looking towards your fingers. Step your feet up into a forward fold, Uttanasana, holding the outside edges of your elbows. Knees are still bent here. You can interlace your forearms or just hold the elbows. Head is heavy. Everything is hanging forward, completely relaxed. Weight shifts into your toes, little sways right and left if that feels nice. That's it. Relaxing, releasing, deep bend from the hips, generous bend in the knees to protect the lower back. Releasing the hands down, inhale, halfway lift. Flat back here, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, forward fold. And then with the knees generously bend, ragdoll all the way up into standing, stacking one vertebrae on top of the others until you reach mountain pose, Tadasana. Good. Let's give it a big, good stretch here. Come up onto your toes, reach your fingertips up and overhead. And exhale, bring the hands together at the heart. Inhale again, reaching the arms all the way up. As we twist to the right, take your arms to shoulder height. Keep that right hip pushing forward. Energize through the fingertips here. Good. Trying to find that twist from your upper spine. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, drop that right arm down and inhale, bring it all the way up again. On your exhale, hips stay facing forward, twisting to your left this time. Fingertips energetically reach away from each other. Left hip this time pushes forward. Good, nice twist from your thoracic spine, upper part of your spine. One more breath in here. On your exhale, drop that left arm, turn towards the front again. Arms rise all the way up. Gentle back bend here. Bend your knees generously. Bend and hinge from your hips, coming back into your forward fold. Inhale, neutralizing the spine. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant your fingertips. Step your left leg long back. Good. Now on your inhale, reaching the right arm all the way up. Come into your easy twist, easy pose here. So in a, high, in a low lunge, pressing the feet away from each other, right knee is stacked over the right ankle, and then the left heel is stacked over the left toes. We're really light on the left fingertips. Again, energizing through those fingertips. We might be able to hover, so the left hand is just hovering very gently off the floor. Breathe here. Press your feet firmly away from each other. Maybe sink a little deeper into that right knee. Pull the right hip crease back. Take another deep breath in here. You've got this. And then as you press into your legs, draw your navel to your spine. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Ooh, keeping your balance. Come into your twisted, twisted crescent lunge. Still energetically, the fingertips are pulling away from each other. Good. Back leg is still engaged. Right, left kneecap is pulling up. Good. And as you exhale, drop that right arm down. Crescent lunge here. But try to keep your body diagonally forward. So really energizing into that right quad and right glute muscle. And we stay here. Relax your shoulders for three, two, one. Now look at your right toes. Step your left leg up. Come into your chair pose. Ooh, nice transition here. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Neck in line with the spine. Sit a little deeper into your chair pose. Good. One more breath. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Flat back position. Exhale. Plant your hands down. This time step your right leg long back. Set yourself up for your easy pose, so for your easy twist. Press the right toes back and away from your right heel is over the toes, left knee over the left ankle. 
fingertips of the right hand are gently on the floor just to support you for a little bit of balance here. And then as we inhale, peeling that left arm all the way up into the sky, that's it. Press your crown of the head forward, finding that length, really taking all that strength out of your legs here. Good, energizing through the left fingertips, pressing the feet firmly away. We may be able to hover. If not, that's okay. Just keep the fingertips down. Good, thinking, lengthening, crown of the head to the tailbone. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Now, pressing the feet even more away from each other, navel to the spine. We're going to lift that out of the strength of the legs, coming into our twisted crescent lunge. You've got this. Good. Keep the right leg super powerful. Right kneecap is engaged. Toes are pressing down. Fingers are reaching away from each other. One more breath. Exhale, drop that left arm. Bring it all the way forward. Firing up a little bit more through the left quad. Really press those legs away. Lean forward, sink a little deeper into that left foot, left knee. Breathe for three, two, one, looking down at your left toe, step it up into your chair pose. Sit nice and deep, long lower back, reaching through those fingertips, shoulders relaxed. Sit a little deeper, navel to the spine. You've got this for three, two, one. Exhale, bring your palms down. Inhale, halfway lift exhale and fold and then from here just step it back into a comfortable seat close your eyes notice how just a few minutes of moving your body in combination with your breath changes and turns around your whole day Taking a few more breaths, settling your heart back to a normal beat. Sitting up nice and tall on every inhale and relaxing, releasing on every exhale. Eyes can be closed here. One more breath in together. On your exhale, soften your face, your jaw, the shoulders. Area around the navel is completely relaxed. Take your hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. Slowly bow your chin to your chest. Coming back to our intention of the beginning. How do you want to feel for the rest of your day as you step off your mat and continue whatever the day holds for you? Taking another deep breath in. Exhaling, sealing that intention. Thank you so much for joining me today on this quick wake-up morning yoga flow. Namaste. I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.